In the 1960s, African Americans continued to face discrimination and even segregation. However, during this time, some African Americans achieved the highest levels of celebrity. Lena Horne and Diane Carroll achieved fame in the 1940s and 50s from their appearances in motion pictures and provided an example of glamour and elegance for the generation of African Americans who followed. Carol is represented in this exhibition by a dress of black tulle adorned with silver sequins that Norman Norell designed for her in the 1960s. This dress is stunning, but squarely conventional in its design and appeal. Like her character on the television program Julia, which debuted in 1968, it was appealing in part by being non-threatening, by conforming to mainstream aesthetics. Diana Ross emerged as a young musical talent in the 1960s under the Motown label. The emergence of this Black-owned business was an important milestone in popular culture. The story of American popular music through the 1950s was dominated by white stars such as Elvis Presley and Buddy Holly, who reinterpreted the blues and other musical styles developed in the African-American community. By the 1960s, Groups such as the Supremes and the Miracles gained a mainstream audience in both the United States and Europe. In 1970, Diana Ross left the Supremes to launch her own solo career, and in 1971, she had her own television special, Diana, in which she wore the taupe sequin dress included in this exhibition. The dress is a testament to Ross's attention to cultivating her glamorous persona. In the early years of her career, she had made her own dresses, but by the 1970s, she had designers such as Bob Mackey help her establish her look. As much as Diana Ross was the essence of glamour and sophistication, Jimi Hendrix epitomized wild experimentation. In contrast to the generally conservative style of many of the African-American stars through the 1960s, Hendrix was extravagant and deliberately thumbed his nose at the constraints of polite society. He developed a highly individual style, in part from his exposure to London's fashion scene, that favored bright colors, a combination of bold patterns, and luxurious textures. The fashion he gravitated to, including the purple velvet jacket displayed in the exhibition, also pushed established gender boundaries. The luxurious material and its bold color were, and still are, largely viewed as feminine. Hendrix was a pivotal figure in the development of a countercultural style for his provocative exploration of the boundaries of race, gender, and personal style. <laughs>